Hi guys, so um, with current circumstances and just things the way that they are at the minute with, with COVID and with lockdown, um, I'm kind of getting a, a lot or seeing a lot or hearing a lot at the minute of um, kind of very, um, very kind of negative um, talk or, you know, people talking down about themselves or blaming situation on other things, someone else, etc. You know, there's that feeling of self-pity and things like that. And, um, y y you know, it's hard at the minute and the there's a lot of that g going on. But kind of, you know, when I think about it and when I look at it um, and think about how it relates to, to health and fitness, it just gets me thinking a bit about, um, you know, pe people who are successful in following plans and seeing results and that people aren't and it's it's very kind of alike to that and it really really kind of um kind of makes me think that pretty much like every exercise program you do or every nutritional program you follow is useless unless you get your mindset sorted okay fundamentally your mindset is the most important thing first and foremost that you need to get sorted when you um, embark on something that's challenging, um, embark on something which potentially is going to be life-changing for you, your mindset is so, so important. Because let's face it, your body is capable of absolutely amazing things, okay? Like what you can achieve in the gym, what you can achieve when you go out for a run. Um, just generally, from a activity point of view and exercise point of view what you can achieve or what your body can achieve is absolutely amazing so the problem with that is that from a mindset point of view probably you don't understand that potential at the minute or from a mindset point of view um, a lot of us at the minute are maybe too too lazy to get up and um, go and exercise and from a mindset point of view we're listening to our negative thought pattern. Therefore, the last thing we want to do is get up and exercise. So it's not our body that's stopping us. It's our mind. It's our thoughts. And the fact that we're listening to those thoughts that is stopping us from being active. And it's exactly the same from a nutritional point of view. There's nothing stopping us getting up and making something healthy. Yet we choose to go for the easy option, which nine times out of ten is the unhealthy option, which we eat too much of, which is why we end up putting on too much weight. So fundamentally, everything starts from a mindset point of view. Now, me going on here today is not just to basically state the obvious or have a go or things like that. It's to give you a solution to this problem. So the solution to the problem, which I give to a lot of my clients, is start doing what you can do, okay, or what your mind can, um, can deal with right now. So maybe your mind can deal with just going out and doing a 20 minute walk every day at the minute. OK, whereas previously for you to achieve your goal, what you thought about doing is, oh, it has to be a 60 minute weight routine that I have to do every day. And your mind just simply can't cope with that right now. So focus with what your mind can deal with right now. OK, from an exercise point of view, that might be a 10 minute walk. It might be a 20 minute walk. It might be a 15 minute um, exercise routine that's just body weight. It might be um, 50 squats and that's it. OK, so just start exercise wise with what your body can cope with now. And then from a nutritional point of view, again, same thing applies. Just focus on making something that is relatively easy for you to make that you've done before that you can do with your eyes shut but you know is going to be healthy or healthier than what you were doing before and starts starts the ball rolling. And this is another point that I want to make. Too often when we start something, we start up here. So we start up here with unrealistic things that we can maintain. So we start with too much exercise. So we're doing seven sessions a day, which realistically we can't maintain long term. We start on um, making all these fancy dancy recipes um, to too fewer calories, uh, depriving our body of, of too fewer carbohydrates that we know we just can't maintain. So why not start here, okay, which may be a, a lower level now, but then from having success down here at this level, watch things snowball until you come higher and higher and higher until your standard gets to such a point where you really start to excel and you really start to see progress.
And I see that way too many times. People start up here, they then just end up declining, which is demotivating, which is the reason why they stop. Whereas if you start at a level which you can accomplish and have success with from the off, from the start, and then just watch progress improve, watch your standards improve, watch your activity level increase, um, watch your, uh, you know, your, your food improve as well with just the vast array of nutrition that you're getting on board, etc. Then you, that's when you start to see real progress. So ultimately, in summary, what I'm going on here to say is from a mindset point of view, it's absolutely fundamental that you start what you can achieve right now. OK, don't start what's unrealistic and that, you know, um, it, it, two weeks down the line, you're going to end up stopping. It's absolutely vital. You start what you can do right now because any exercise program, any nutritional program is wasted if um if you haven't got the mindset right from the off um, in seeing long-term change, not just with your health and fitness, but, but obviously life in general.